Okay. So, anti fouling's done. There she is. In all her new splendid black anti fouling. Isn't that nice? all ready to go in tomorrow let's hope everything works and she doesn't sink problem with these wooden boats is they they dry out you know so when you get in the water it's like a submarine disaster movie and water spurting in all over the place anyway I'm sure it'll be alright Well, here we are, going in the river. On the transporter. I don't know whether this is less of Majesty and that's going to sink for them. It probably will. Let's hope it doesn't go down too fast, that's all I say. Anyway, I'm going to be busy now. Well, there we are. She's in the water. And not leaking too badly. Actually, not at all so far. Which is quite astonishing. <coughs> These wooden boats are very often like a submarine disaster movie when they go in. Water squirts in from everywhere. So I've just got to move her up a bit, up there, so that we can fiddle about get the engine going. I'll show you the next one going in. Anyway, there we are, it hasn't sunk. You know, the thing is, my life is just one consistent and endless worrying. One of my relations was uh, was well known for that, H.W. Ford, who was the head of Jardine Matheson in Shanghai before the Japanese invaded. <coughs> and his wife used to call him Hurry Worry Funk. I think that sort of basically describes me. Talk to you later. Well, we're, we're motoring out of out of Falmouth now, there's Cedar at the helm and we had a bit of trouble getting the engine going because all the electrics are packed up so we had to start the engine on the jump lead from the spare battery and all sorts of sparks and things going on, banging and crashing so anyway it's 11.30 and we're heading off out of the Very nice place. So we're just clearing the ground right now. Anthony's head over there, the lighthouse, see? The wind is on the beam. Well, actually a little bit on the nose at the moment. We've got the sails up, we've got the 
foundation, right? And there's, there's Falmouth Harbour there, entrance, with some big boats there, see, there we are, and Captain Celia at the helm here, she's pulling well. It's not that windy actually, about a four I would think. So far so good. We've left the engine running because we can't start it otherwise. <laughs> Usual works. We're doing seven knots over the land. I've never seen this thing go like that. Going about Caracol, it's a good thing we didn't put up the, the big sail. There's Falmouth, look, it's disappearing. Look at the wake. We could go water skiing if this keeps up. Hey, fucking hell. That's not good. Well, it's calmed down a bit now. And we must be getting fairly close to the entrance, so I can't see the boy. There's the boy there. Is that it? Just there. Oh, yeah, it could be. Yeah. That looks like it. Okay. Well, there's the entrance, I think to um, the Helford River. We're steering into it now, but we still can't see the green buoy. But in this sea, it might be, might be just that we can't see the green buoy. But it's only a little one, bobbing about, bobbing about. Yeah, that's got to be the river, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The green boy is quite hard to see, it's quite in close to the land there. You have to get in quite close to see it. These seas have eased a bit now. Now that we're closer into the land, there's not much tide running. Way spoke too soon. <laughs> anyway, this boat's got a beautiful motion. It really kind of shrugs it all aside, you know. Quite impressive. Quite impressive. Okay. Here we are. There's the ferry boat in there. I'll get the mainsail off. We're running on the mainsail at the moment. She's pissing along. I better get it down. <laughs> <laughs>